So it's 5 a.m. in the morning. And of course, like I'm running late. Um, I will probably be late for my funeral, I promise you. When I die, somehow the darn vehicle will break down or something will happen and I will be late for my first, for my funeral. That's just all there is to it. Uh, we had planned on leaving the house at what time? 3? 3, 3.30? We planned on leaving at 3.30, but man, they were having away. The red light. Um, so I was awake, so I'm so excited about this trip. I was awake in my mind. Like, I, did, I feel like I didn't sleep any last night. Like, you ever had one of those nights where you'd sleep and, like, you're actually sleeping, but you feel like you're just tossing and turning all night and you're awake and. Well, that's the way I felt last night and this morning I thought I was like just waiting on the alarm to go off just super excited I'm like God, I can't wait can't wait can't wait you know getting up at 3 30 sucks anyway and oh it sucks Chris is in there at the table waiting on me like wondering why the hell I ain't up yet <laughs> he sent Zayden in there to get me up and uh, of course Zay he's Dad, get up. That's it. You know, I can imagine what he said to me. And I'm the worst about, like, sleep talking. So I'll wake up, and I'll sleep talk to you. And like, yeah, I'm getting up. Get the hell out of my way. Leave me alone, and I'll go right back to sleep. So, um, Chris ain't used to that. He didn't want to come in there just in case Ashley wasn't decent or something. So, um... I get up, it's like 410, freaking, freaking out, cussing and going crazy, blah, 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 you know, one of them morning rants, and coming there, I'm like, Chris, why don't you wake me up? He's like, well, we did it twice, so, running super late, luckily, my wife knows me so well, she scheduled the flight for 7 a.m. and told me that it was 6 a.m. because she knew I was going to be late. So I'm freaking out, driving like super fast, trying to get it out of the road, come out of the driveway sideways. This LS3, it runs pretty good, so. Come out of the driveway sideways. She calls me, and, or she sends me a text. She finally sends me my plane ticket, and the darn thing, <laughs> like I, I was so mad. It says 7 a.m. I call her, I'm like, what'd they do, delay my flight? She said no. She said, I just knew you were going to be late. She said, if I told you it was going to leave at 7 o'clock instead of 6, you would have never made it. So, I'm actually going to be on time for once. I'm late, but I'm on time. I'm not having to drive like crazy. Me and Chris are just sitting here talking about it, though. This is the coolest trip I've ever been on. And it sucked. He can't go with me because he's got to keep the trucks going. But for Cletus and cars, he'll probably go with me. Um, so TX2K is this weekend. I'm taking uh, 316 speeds stacker down. So Cletus is taking the toter and his new stacker trailer. Well, I'm going to take... 316 speeds stacker which is bad it's bad to the bone air brakes the whole nine yards and there are two lamborghinis they got two twin turbo lamborghinis i'm taking for them and then uh, cletus is taking leroy two novas jack stan jimmy's novas uh the motion race work noah I forgot what else he's. Uh, I think he's gonna put Ruby in there too. Then he's got a custom or an eight car trailer taking all the burnout vehicles. So I won't get to have my burnout vehicle at Cletus and Cars. I have no way of getting it down there unless I get. So my new truck comes. I did buy a new truck before Cletus and Cars the following weekend, and I will be taking it to Texas and taking one of the burnout cars with us. Either the uh, Charger or the uh, Trans Am. So if I have a transmission done for the Trans Am, it'll be going. If the Charger transmission's done, it'll be going. If they're both done, they'll both be going. But what I'll probably do is uh, get Chris to go with me and then drive that truck back 
with the with my burnout cars or follow me from there to Florida and I'll just leave them in Florida either at Cletus's or Bruce's for Cletus and cars so that's the plan I don't know how it's gonna work out I'm thinking about buying me a two-car stacker for these events that I'm gonna start going to all the time and that way I can take the charger and the Trans Am because the Trans Am is going to end up turning into a full-blown race car I already know what's going to happen and the Charger, I don't know if I'm either going to sell it and get something I don't care to hurt or it's going to be one wicked ass burnout car. That's kind of the update guys on what I'm doing with the cars and all these events and if you guys want to come to Cletus and Cars, I will be selling t-shirts. Chris will be there with me. We'll be selling t-shirts and hats. Um, we'll have blue collar there. Um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a sweet event, guys. It's gonna be badass. It's gonna be burnouts. Um, we're gonna get to the airport. We're about to pull into the airport now, and I'm gonna jump on a plane and I'm gonna go get blue collar. Right. Well, guys, we made it to the airport. All right, cuz I'll see you later. I might have him go ahead and deliver my truck. So if I do, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Be careful going home. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do some flying. So you gotta think outside the box, guys, when you do this trucking deal. pretty cool guys i met him on the airplane he's actually flying up here to get a service truck and uh we're at north carolina yeah uh, we're in virginia yeah virginia a new mobile man on the road yep so we're gonna hit him up i'm gonna get back and try him out because he's local knoxville so we're getting there though I told him, I said, it's got to be meant to be. You're going to buy a new service truck and you meet me on the airplane. So keep looking up for uh, Royal Diesel Repair. I'll be out there. I'm willing to take your money. <laughs> Good old boys. That's the kind of mechanics you want. All right, guys, we're boarding the last plane and we're off to horn blasters. Got to go get some installation kits and pick up some horns, so. Huge plane. All right, guys. So we made it to Tampa down here to Horn Blasters. I guess this is your new facility, right? Sure. The new warehouse. So we're gonna go grab some lunch on this sweet Pro XP Razor. Is it a turbo or no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. God, this blows mine out of the water.
What's up guys? Well, we made our first stop now that we're down here in Tampa. We just landed about, I don't know, probably an hour ago and went and had some lunch with these guys. And of course, they took us on a razor. So uh, nothing's wicked as hell actually. So what, the, so what we're doing here, so we wanna get some train horns on the trucks. You know, after we gave those to Cletus, um, I decided, you know what, I've gotta have my trucks decked out with the best train horns. So we reached out to um, Spencer over here at Horn Blasters and, uh, and he's trying to hook us up with some train horns for the, for the Peterbilt and the cab over. That way dad's got plenty of sound and so do I. So um, we're gonna do the Katrina. What are they, Katrinas? These are Katrina five chime train horns. Um, if you've already got air system on your vehicle because you've got air brakes, um, these are super easy to install. You're going to be able to tap into the existing air system on the vehicle you have, and then you'll just be able to wire an electric push button um, to the horns themselves. Yeah, so super easy to install. I mean, you hook them to your toolboxes, your headache racks. Um, I'm actually going to hook mine to the, so we're getting a new headache rack for the yellow cab over. We're going to put this one on the yellow cab over and put, hook it to the headache rack. And I think these will go on the Peterbilt, which will go to like the toolbox, um, something of that nature. And then uh, if that's pointed down to the ground, I don't know if you guys ever heard these things, but they are super, super, super loud. And uh, definitely gonna get somebody out of the way if you need to uh, to use them, you know. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't blow your temper, blow your horns. It's exactly. Here and it's been that way for a long time. A lot of these yep. kits, I mean, these horns are one of our larger variants that we sell. We've also got one that's the same five chime configuration in chrome. It's going to be our Admiral Series horn. Um, it's going to be that, you know, if you have a little bit more showy of a truck, and you've got one of those guys got chrome fenders, chrome lights, your headache racks all polished up, you got those polished wheels. This horn in the five chime series in chrome is going to be the Admiral Series horn. Um, both of these horns here, um, they're available on hornblasters.com. Yeah, so guys, go check them out. They've definitely been cool. Oh my goodness. I mean, we reached out to them and they were like instantly on board with helping us out and, and setting us up with some good horns for a truck. And um, I mean, if you're a truck driver, you need to have these horns on your truck. I mean, they could save your life. They could, you know, save you from a collision and they could also get somebody out of your dang way. I mean, there's many times where my horns just ain't got the job done where these will. And uh, I don't know, you can go over and see, uh, I, I'm gonna install them probably when I get home from this trip. So um, if you come back and check us out in a few days, we'll definitely have them on the truck and you can listen to them. And uh, we'll give you a little test. Uh, check this thing out, guys. It's like the coolest setup I've ever seen on a car. You said that was an eight gallon tank? It's, a, it's our eight and a half gallon tank. I'm running a single air zenith OB2 air compressor. Um, I'm running the system at 150 PSI. The Nathan air chime horns are always gonna sound the best in that 110 to 150 PSI range. I had a, a local shop here in the area build me a custom mount that goes into the receiver hitch to hold this horn. As you can see, I'm not very tall, but this is quite a large horn in comparison to the overall size of the car. Um, I've got it on a ball valve. We'll give you guys a test on. Let me back up because these things are so loud. I mean, they're ridiculously loud. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. So those are loud. Super, super loud. And compared to the, Katri the Katrinas, I'd say... Golly, bum. What do you think? They're pretty close, so, huh? Yeah, they're going to be pretty close to the... Katrina horns are going to be just, you know, a couple steps below the Nathan air chime horns. But right now, as part of our stimulus sale, you can pick up a set of Katrina horns for $389.99. That's over 25% off their normal retail price. Um, this is one of the things, you know, the Nathan air chime horns, you know, they're going to be starting with one of the three chimes closer to that $1,800 range for just the horn itself. Um, so the Katrina horn with its overall loudness and that great price is going to be great value. You know, you're going to have a great horn that's super loud and the great things that you're going to get with the systems that we sell is you have the ability to have onboard air on your vehicle how many times are you know you've got a tire it's just a little bit flat you got the you know the check check tire pressure light on on your dash and it's like oh 
where's the closest gas station? Where's that little $20 pump I bought from Walmart that's going to take 25 minutes to fill this tire? Yeah, you you've got, and... you know, a tank, even with our systems that only have a two and a half gallon tank, we have constant duty compressors that are going to give you the ability to fill up tires. I don't know about you guys, uh, I've got a full size truck and every time I go take my jet ski out, jet ski trailer tires, squish on the ground. If, you, if you're somebody that's always taking your side-by-sides, your four-wheelers, out to camp or out to the mud hole, and you've got all these trailer tires, you know, having this onboard air system um, is going to be a tremendous help in situations like that where you just, you know, you don't really think you need it until you have it, and then you're using it all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's genius, actually. I mean, it's having air on your truck is just, and plus having the horns on top of that, that's just... Yeah makes it even better you have a horn you get this onboard air it's, you know just like you know, freebie for having you know one of our air systems on your vehicle so how big is is this like the biggest tank you can get no, we even have bigger tanks than this this is our eight and a half gallon so it's almost up top that we've also got a 12 gallon tank and a 20 gallon air tank that we offer all of our tanks are made right here in the usa yeah i like usa build stuff so guys i'm impressed i can't wait to get mine installed like i really can't they're gonna be I've had trucks come up beside me wanting me to get out of the left lane and, you know, kind of taking it easy. And they got me out of the way, like literally, like their horns. I mean, it made me a little mad, but they got me out of the way. So, what'd you say, 389? 389 right now is part of our stimulus sale on hornblasters.com. You can pick up one of the Dang. Katrina horns themselves Three, four, for almost five. over 25% off retail right now. Five horns, guys. I mean, this look. This five time set. Great sounding horn, relatively easy to mount on you know, just about any vehicle you think of. And uh, the air systems that you'll be able to pair with these horns, um, starting with our two gallon, is gonna run you right in about that $300 price range for an air system to pair with one of these horns. If you're just putting on you know, a truck or a car that doesn't have auxiliary air, you know, like a truck with air brakes would. Right. Yeah, these would go perfect with a semi truck because you got big air tanks. I mean, you got multiple tanks and, um, now these here ain't gonna drain your air tanks like those other ones are, like that's on the back of the yeah, car. Yeah, the Katrinas, they have a, a very efficient flow system, so they're gonna be a lot more conserved on air, but you're still gonna get a super loud honk out of the Katrina horns themselves. Um, but still, you know, a couple honks, you drop you know, a few PSI every honk, and these horns are so loud, they're one of those, those horns that, you, you know, you honk it just in a quick second or a quick two chimes, and guys out of your way, back and paying attention in their own lane. Yep, so right here, guys, you can, uh, so when you hook it up, you just hook it to your air supply on your tank, half inch air line, and then uh, um, run a hot wire to it, like a continuous switch or whatever. And uh, you just, you know, tap on your switch and- um, Pump it away. Yep, you got your chimes working. And then uh, you can also set it up on a valve, you know, like some guys like the old school way where you got a hand valve to, you can so, pull them uh, in like that. But for you guys that want just an easy install, you know, quick and easy, get your horns mounted, get them working. These are definitely, they're definitely, God, they're worth the money, definitely. I mean, I just flew down here to get a set, so, I mean, that should tell you something. Um, also, where I think it's gonna benefit us is uh, this, you I mean, you see these new guys, these rookies and stuff out here, they're always falling asleep. Coming over in your lane, with me pulling oversize all the time, I can't tell you how many times people's come over and about hit a boat or something because they're not paying attention and staying in their lane. So that's the kind of benefit I'm looking to get out of them. And I'll be doing an install video on these probably in the next week or two. So you guys can see how easy it is to install. Anybody can do it. As long as you've got a couple tools and you know a little bit of knowledge, you know you know where your hot wires are and uh, you can run into your air tank. Um, anybody can install them so i'll do an install video guys and we'll test them out see how good they are and we'll even try them out on the road but guys I, we gotta thank spencer for doing this for us appreciate you coming by to the warehouse guys yeah i mean this this place is awesome it really is um these guys work hard i mean they really do i've been here for probably a couple hours now and just seeing their their work ethic they're a good fit for this channel so pretty excited about it guys but I'm going to finish up this video and I'm going to get on down to, uh, I got to go to Dade City. You guys know what I'm doing in Dade City. When we go do this install, guys, be sure to check this thing out. We'll put up a promo code and uh, see what you get. We can get you guys some horns for. Let's blow them up, guys. Let's, let's buy some horns and let's boost this channel.